All right, so I did just a normal discharge test with uh, the antimatter to discharge these three eight volt used to be deep cycle traction batteries. We got 66 amps at 24 volts and they bounce, well it stops at 21 and they bounce back up to 23, nearly 24 again there. So uh, they've still got a bit of capacity in them. Um, this discharged at about 5 amps because it was actually burning off the energy so it's about 70 or 80 watts it can burn off. The little fan screams its head off and blows all the hot air out one side. Out there. So, what my plan is, is to put these five batteries in parallel with those three batteries, and we should have about 500 amp hours at 14 volts, and just use them until they collapse to uh, store my extra solar. I've actually got the solar. Uh, breakers up there off at the moment because uh, it was sitting at 14.4 this morning already. Beautiful sunny day today. I'd already charged all my cordless gear batteries um, and it was still yeah still sitting right up there. We'll have a look at that later but uh, yeah 66 amps at 24 volts which is pretty awesome. You can set the discharge to whatever you want when you discharge it, but it'll only do whatever the heatsink can do. I'll charge them back up. This thing here's got tons of ground it can handle. 16 amps. It's 33 amps at 13 volts. So it's putting, yeah, oh, 36 amps. Pull 36 out of this thing, squeeze it through there and up into the uh, into the batteries. That'll drop off pretty quick with lead acids. Commonly jump in voltage pretty quick and then absorb for a long time. So yeah, all of these in parallel to make one big powerful 8 volt battery and uh, those three together to make a 6 volt battery I know it's going to be a bit over voltage or we'll be using it in the lower spectrum of its actual capacity but um, they're not the best batteries I may as well get some use out of them um, failing that I can just use them for the UPS units in a backup situation but what I might do is see if I can't get those three big batteries just down here beside the bench get them all linked together and have it so we can do it either way just a matter of changing some cables around and uh, getting some bolts for those batteries yeah that's basically what's going on it's still pulling 34 amps out of this beast you notice I've enclosed the case of this it was open frame because they had it in a uh, like a stereo sound wall thing problem with the open frame was there was no air draw in the front where the original case would have done over this couple of big heat sinks on moth sets there and there so i left a little gap at the front each side so it's got like a real air draw through there which uh will help keep it cool it's a pet it's a 40, 40 amp 13.8 volt switch mode power supply it's quite an epic device coupled with this thing it's just excellent I mean charge whatever we want so those leads aren't even getting warm so yeah be interesting to see how many amps go back into it but uh, yeah 66 amp hour at 24 volts which is Not 150, 1500. 1500 watts. Yeah, 1.5 kilowatt. So that's not horrible, I guess. Um, and uh, we'll see what these two do when they're all together. We'll put them all together in an 8 volt brick one day. And when the uh, low voltage solar ones are all, I'll flatten them off one day. 
more regenerative discharge through this off the 8 volts and uh, see how much we can get out of just the 8 volt side and see if it's anywhere close to the 500 amp hours we get out of the 6 volt ones even if it's not, it's not the end of the world they're all free, free batteries are good batteries tinkering with free batteries thanks for watching guys catch you in the next vid